Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Patience is a virtue. Possess it if you can. Have you ever heard that phrase before, friends? Patience is a virtue. Possess it if you can. Welcome back to God's Playbook as we continue this mini-series on the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Today, as you can guess, we're talking about the fruit of patience. Patience as a fruit of the Holy Spirit refers to treating others with thoughtfulness and tolerance. We experience patience when we are capable of demonstrating an ability to resist temptation and the need for God's mercy and forgiveness. We hear in St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, love is patient, love is kind. And it goes on and on and on. So all these fruits can always be attributed to God, of course, who is the source of all love. But when we think about being patient, Mother Teresa said, I've never met someone who is too patient. I know I need to grow in the fruit of patience, that's for sure. Perhaps you might also agree with that. When we think about patience, this isn't just waiting for somebody who's late. This isn't just about, you know, not getting our way right in the moment and the sense of entitlement. We're talking here about a true understanding of being patient with one another. First and foremost, because God is patient with us. Now, it's easy to judge one another. They should know better. They should do better. How could they say that, et cetera, et cetera. But when we realize that God is patient with us, I think of especially the parable of the prodigal son. The father patiently awaits the son's return, though he squandered his money, property, and desolate living. The father waits patiently and then runs to him when he sees him. This is how God is with us. He patiently waits for us to grow up, to be spiritually mature, to realize that we should never choose sin over his love, to realize that he should always be number one in our lives, to realize that we should never take him for granted, to realize that God is that gentleman who patiently awaits us understanding our dependency on him. And that we should love him with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. After showing us patience, he expects that we are going to show true patience with others. Tolerating their behavior, especially when they let us down. Patience leads us to a true understanding of forgiveness. Which doesn't suggest that the wrong done to us is okay. But can we move past the wrong? Can we get past the sayings that hurt us? Can we get past the betrayal and recognize that perhaps just as God is patient with us in our ignorance, sometimes we need to tolerate others' ignorance too. Each of us may look at ourselves and feel that we are just where we should be. And yet, if we're being truly honest, isn't there always room for growth? God certainly has us right where we need to be, but that doesn't mean that we're just okay where we are. We should always be looking to grow in our relationship with God, to use the opportunity of this beautiful day that God has given to us, this 24-hour period, to glorify him and to live life to the fullest, to realize this great gift that God has for us, and to look for opportunities to be the hands and feet of the Lord in this world, as we build the kingdom, as God is asking us to participate. How can each one of us be more patient? How can we be more tolerant? Again, not accepting immoral or inappropriate behavior, but rather than creating division, isolation, conflict, This fruit of the Holy Spirit 
helps us to be more compassionate, understanding, and forgiving. Modeled by Jesus, first and foremost on the cross, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Jesus, throughout his ministry, patiently waited for the apostles to understand his teachings and to live by them, to live according to God's standards, not human standards. And he asks us to do the same. How about when we are dealing with crosses in our own lives? Do we exude the fruit of patience? God, I wish you would take this away from me right now. Sometimes God allows things to continue to test us, to shape us, to help us to build character. May these trials not deter us from understanding God's love for us, but help us to look above and realize that in God's time, things will happen. With God's will, things will happen. And so we also need to exercise patience to allow God to do what God does and to realize that we need to be patiently awaiting his second coming, patiently allowing conversions to take place, new understandings to take place, a deepening of faith to take place. The list can go on and on. How can each one of us use the fruit of patience to further bring peace and tranquility to the world? We see that these fruits are interconnected. If I want the fruit of patience, I need to also be based in love. If I want the fruit of patience, then I need to be an instrument of God's peace. So how can we be more patient as individuals and as a collective? How can I show more compassion towards a neighbor, a family member, a parishioner, a friend? How can I work on not making God so patient with me because of my own reluctances to grow, to be holy, to rid myself of perhaps any sinful or immoral behavior? How can I exercise more patience that can help to lead others to know God through my words, my actions, my thoughts and behaviors? Lord, help us to be more patient. Lord, we thank you for the gift and fruit of your patience. For God's Playbook friends, I'm Father Rico. God loves you, and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.